And this school year will look different for many children, but no matter what happens, kids need to feel empowered and ready. And that's where Cradles to Crayons comes in. In this week's For Your Community, Kate Merrill speaks with the executive director about their Ready for Learning initiative. Well, we are here this morning with the executive director of Cradles to Crayons, Aubrey Conkergood. Aubrey, thank you so much for sitting down and chatting with us. Thank you so much for having us. We are so pleased to be working with you all this year. Tell us a little bit about Cradles to Crayons and sort of what you do. So Cradles to Crayons is a nonprofit located in Newton, and we provide kids from age, uh, from birth to age 12 with the everyday essentials they need to thrive, like gently used clothing, diapers, books. Um, we want kids to feel empowered, whether they're at play, at school, or just living their everyday lives. Why is that important? I mean, sometimes that's the stuff that people forget about. Why do you guys focus on that? We know that there are many kids throughout Massachusetts, several hundred thousand, who just don't have the basic necessities every day um, to do well in school, and they need support from all of us in the community. And we have found, um, especially through the pandemic, that the basic necessities are so important to these kids to really make them feel valued and safe and confident. And tell me about Ready for Learning, 2021 Ready for Learning. What is that? Explain it for us. So um, it's something that we are really trying to um, do more of this year. We have a goal for Ready for Learning of having 65,000 kids in Massachusetts ready for school this year. We know that school has looked so different to students around the country and in Massachusetts over the last 16 months. So the goal is to have every, you know, every child who needs it, the, to the goal is 65,000 um, fully ready for school. So they'll have backpacks, school supplies in those backpacks. Um, we will be giving them clothing, face masks, hygiene kits, whatever they may need to feel successful. This has been a hard year for everyone, but especially you know, with COVID, this has been a really hard year for a lot of kids. It really has been, and they've been so resilient and yet, um, it's so different. It's different than what any generation has gone through. I can't imagine, you know, transitioning to virtual learning and then being in school and wearing face masks. And while we know these kids um, are really doing their best, they need our help. And that's really what our Ready for Learning initiative is, a, is about. So what are you all doing this summer to sort of gear up for this? So this summer, we have uh, 65,000 backpacks and school supplies that we are right now kidding in our giving factory in Newton. We rely on volunteers in the community to help us come in and put all of these backpacks together to get them ready to go out to the schools. We work with schools throughout Massachusetts, and we'll be sending the backpacks out um, in August and late August. So the kids have them in time for school to start. And we're also sorting through a lot of clothing. So we get gently used and new clothing um, given to us and donated, you know, every day, which we so appreciate from the community. But we sort through that and we get it ready for kids who need it and to distribute it. So what can people do if they want to help this summer? What should they do? What are some of the things and, and ways to help out? Um, it's such a great question. You know, with Cradles to Crayons, we're really driven by three different things. One is volunteering. So our giving factory in Newton is fully open to volunteers. Um, we have all the safety protocol in place, and we need volunteers to come in and help get these backpacks and help get the clothes ready uh, for the kids around Massachusetts. So that's a big need for us. People can go on the website and sign up to volunteer. Um, we also really appreciate the, the donations and especially the kind of gently used clothing and new clothing donations. And again, that can be dropped off at our Newtonville location or their different drop-off sites um, and kind of product drives that we're doing right now this summer. And of course, financial donations are always needed. Well, Aubrey Conkerger, the uh, director, executive director of Cradles to Crayons, thank you so much for uh, talking to us about this and good luck with everything this summer. This is such a great cause. Thank you so much, Kate. We really appreciate your support. And for more information on the Ready for Learning initiative, you can go to their website, cradlestocrayons.org. We'll be right back.